is going on fishing people today we're in the bait cave finally got my stuff all set up I've got a ridiculous amount of cut up baits from the past few years a couple years probably and this is a mix of my brothers mine uh, pretty much anything that I just didn't want either it came in mystery tackle box or something that gets cut up in here plus I had bait pucks from making bait so we're gonna melt everything down it's gonna be like probably a gallon and a half of plastic so we've got a lot to pour however I'm pretty much just gonna be pouring the two most used baits that I have which are gonna be the stick bait uh, Senko style bait and a craw so I'm going to let this melt down. We'll get back to you. Once we start pouring, we'll see how many we get. There is a ton, a ton of plastic in here. So, Well, we're getting closer, guys. It has been probably close to an hour and a half, maybe closer to two hours. And we're finally starting to get our plastisol down almost entirely into liquid form this is a lot of plastic all right guys well we're getting close enough now that we can actually add some scent into these and kind of bake it in so i think we're going to go with shad and anise or anise however you say that um now these two combo together create a really really good bait scent so this is what I'm going with. Stir that on in. Taking a full draw. Those turned out awesome. All right, quick update for everybody. We got some baits drying now. We're down quite a bit in there, down to about a quarter of that. However, these are all my runners and pucks that came out of the mold. Here's what we have so far. I don't know how many baits it is yet, but uh, once we're really done, we will count them all up. All right, guys, well, we're really getting down the home stretch now. I just threw my very last Pyrex cup full of runners and sprues and stuff into the pot. And from now on, everything as it comes out all the sprues runners all the cookies that come out of the injector and all my spoon tailings are going straight into the pot to be immediately melted down and we're just going to keep doing that until they can't be melted anymore until i can no longer draw up so we're going to pull these ones here pretty quick and we should be finishing up shortly tiny bit of flashing in there but generally not too bad got a couple little dents too so 
I'll have to be a little more careful with that. All right, guys, we are on the home stretch. This is all the plastic left. We've got not much. I've got maybe two cores here. All right, guys, this is the last of it right here. Ended up running out of plastic on our last mold we were running, which is this cheaper uh, stick bait mold. But I really wanted the craws to get done on this go round, so those ones turned out good. Those ones turned out really nice. Well, here's our pile, guys. This is one massive stack of baits, stick baits and craws. Easily the most I've ever poured in a day. We're gonna start bagging them up, get them counted out. We'll let you know how many we end up with. So final count on these baits. We had 189 stick baits. And we had 130 something of the craws for a total of 324. So by my math, that was pretty close to what I had expected from a gallon so we must have been right there. Anyway, pretty impressive. For a day of just pouring recycled baits. All right. Well, here's our product. Those baits we made ended up with 324 total baits between these craws and the stick baits. Give them a run and I only have these baits today. So let's see what we can do. Good fish. That is a really good fish. That is definitely, definitely. Ooh. What is this? It's coming up again. Holy smokes. This thing is ripping drag. This is like a freaking carp. But it's not. It's a giant largemouth. Oh my god. I keep my line out of the rocks here. Oh my god. I really wish I had a net right now. Oh, it's pulling drag like crazy. Holy crap, guys. This seriously might be a PB. This is a gigantic fish. I can't even control him. This is insane. Oh my God. Oh my freaking football. <laughs> Come here. Come here. All right. Let's see if I can get mouth. <clears throat> Holy crap. Wow. 
That is a freaking giant. <laughs> oh my god. I'm seriously like shaking right now. Holy smokes. And he absolutely gorged that thing. <clears throat> there we go. Whew. Holy smokes, guys. Still don't buy that, sorry. Holy crap, 5-1. Alright. 5-1 is showing on the scale three times, so I'll give it to him. I'm going to give this thing a quick drink. Take a hot picture with it. Wow. So, in case you were wondering if those baits work, I would have to say, yeah, they do. Get a good release on this thing. Because... Wow. What a freaking mammoth. Holy cow. Well guys, that's pretty stinking exciting. Freaking five pounder right off the bat today. Trophy largemouth for Nevada. That thing just shredded that bait, but part of that was probably me trying to get this hook out. But you wanna talk about a fighter, man. Holy smokes, that thing was just ripping me. I could not believe that. So, four inch craw, and I had dipped the claws, so. Wow. And my trocar hook stayed intact for once. Maybe I just got some bad wire in some of these, but. Uh, crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to change baits and get right back in. <laughs> All right. Well, I only brought the partial, the seven pack that we ended up with here, so. Hopefully this doesn't wind up being like a five pounder plus day constantly because I'm going to run out of freaking baits. Some spike it. Just the very tips of the claws is all. That was also the first big fish that my ALF has been on. Cool, I got grit all up in my handles, but uh, that's fine. Um, Definitely did not have my drag where it needed to be, but I'm actually glad that it was slightly loose. It was definitely tight enough to hold the fish, but uh, not so tight that I was gonna break anything, so I was able to adjust on the fly and uh, get that fish landed. But holy smokes, guys, what a freaking surprise. Way to start the day. I'm like probably 30 minutes into fishing right now. Let's see, so we're all rigged up. Let's go again, man. That was insane. That was like a on the sink bite. I honestly think I got pretty lucky when I set the hook when I did because that fish had started to take it down his gullet, which is why it was so hard for me to get the hook out. And the last thing on this earth that I would like to do is kill a fish of that size. That's my second trophy fish for this year on largemouth. Or, I wouldn't say trophy fish overall. My second trophy largemouth, which is pretty unreal for me. That's uh... Guys, don't forget to stay hydrated with your Fish Nevada water bottles. I'm of course kidding, I don't actually sell water bottles. My girlfriend made me this sticker on her cricket and it's pretty badass. All right, we're at our next spot, which is basically the other side of the same exact weeds I was just fishing.
definitely a fish here. Got him. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa. Holy smokes, buddy. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ouch. Man. Flung him off the freaking rocks. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, little buddy. Let's get him back. Came back for it twice. Say goodbye to your pinchers. Alrighty guys, well, really annoying ending to that. Basically, I uh, ran out of time to keep fishing. Um, but hey, I'm not at all upset about catching a giant fish. So five pound, one ounce bass was the final weight on that thing. I weighed it three times. It was the same every time. Uh, definitely had the body of a big, big, but uh, I think it was a little short. So I didn't get a measurement on it, but um, I did get a weight. So, uh, and then the one smaller fish, other than that, uh, had some bites and then ended up breaking off on a rock and it was pretty close to the time I had to leave anyway, so I just left. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like the whole us making baits thing, putting the baits together, showing you guys how that's done and then taking them out and fishing them, uh, leave a comment down below. I make my own baits all the time. I've done it for a very long time, so if you guys enjoy it, uh, I will happily continue to make those videos. Uh, it's kind of a unique thing to do, and uh, if you guys like it, then we can keep doing it. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe uh, if you haven't already. There's going to be a link right at the bottom of your screen here coming up shortly. And if you liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And we will catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.